All right, friends, we're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show with Todd Talley, and he is with Atlantic Marine Electronics, which they do a lot of work on our boat, the speechless there at Pirate's Cove. Tell us a little bit about your company. Atlantic Marine Electronics is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Viking Yacht Company. We specialize in navigation, communication, and entertainment systems, primarily in the sport fish market. Uh, we've been doing that for a little over 20 years now. Uh, and you know, servicing the needs of of boaters, you know, all you know, all over the country and all over the world. We have six locations around the country, and we're a team of about 100 people. Yeah, and I know they've taken good care of us there at Pirates Cove. Uh, good to hear. Their guys, they're outstanding. They come do amazing work, and uh, it's good to have them as people that are, are reliable to come work on your rig when you need them to. So, here at this show, you have a directional sonar display setup. So tell us a little bit about that for some of the viewers that might not know exactly how it works or what it is. Sure, yeah, omnidirectional sonar. We've been installing them in the sport fish market started around in 2017 with the Furuno uh, CSH 8L Mark II. Uh, and that popularity has grown because of you know the efficiency of how that system works. So omnidirectional sonar is a transducer that comes down out of the bottom of the boat. And that omnidirectional is that it's an array of transducers, you know, several hundred transducers, solid state that go and look around the boat. So you can actively target out away from the boat. So traditional video sounders, everything you see on your down sounder uh, is history, right? That already happened, it's in the past. Right. So you're watching your video sounder and you know, if that fish is on the boat. So the advantage on making sport fishing much more productive is the ability to look out around you to target specific fish and, and just make that small correction in steerage to run over a target and, and produce you know, a, a potential catch. Right. So with that and, and how well that works, it's really become a very popular option that you know you have this big investment in your your sport fishing rig and, and the time you spend to go do that and and the expense in that and that you know having one of these just makes that time more productive right we're buying sport fish boats to catch fish and these tools in in omni sonar will absolutely help you be more productive in catching those fish right so what we're showing here is the three different brands that we offer uh, so we have an maq which is built uh, in canada so right in north america comes down over the border they've been doing this um, since I believe in, in the early 70s when they've been around, right? So, and, um, so their system, omnidirectional uh, sonar, comes down out of the boat. You have a you know, transceiver, a USB controller. Uh, so very versatile on the control side, has 360 degree stabilization, will do dual range. So a, a great system uh, for customers to, to get into uh, at, a, at a fantastic price point, a very good option to consider when you're, if you're planning on an, an omnidirectional sonar under your boat. The Furuno CSH8L, again, this is kind of what started us, you know, back in 2017 with putting these in, certainly has the most amount of uh, deployments out in the field. So the most proven system that's out there, uh, you'll find tons of guys using them, works very, very well. You know, again, you have a transceiver in there, your uh, transducer cable that, that comes down and feeds all the elements. Uh, fantastic option uh, to, to consider as well. Certainly the one with the most out there the, as far as people that are using it, captains out in the network of, of the docks and all that kind of stuff, gonna be your most common unit that you'll see around. Moving on to the SY50 by Simrad Kongsberg, so a company out of Norway, probably the newest of all these systems that, that's been developed. They are a little bit outside of the box from the traditional having a transceiver and that they built their transceiver into the tra into the transducer. So it's the most compact installation you'll find in the market today. So one small cable uh, that goes to the unit and a small power box. You don't have a large transceiver to work with. Uh, again, 360 degree stabilization, dual range, PC based, USB keyboard, um, a lot of a lot of great options in this being that it, it's the uh, you know the newest technology to market. So those are you know the three Omni sonars that we're showing here uh, at our at our display. And if you have any questions, you know feel free to give us a call. Uh, all of the units we keep in stock and and available. Uh, so if you're considering you know picking up one of these tools and adding them to your rig. You know, be happy to uh, have a conversation with you and find which unit would work best for you. Now these, uh, for someone that don't know or doesn't have any experience with these, you have to have a considerable amount of real estate on your boat. And this is, for lack of better terms, it's a transducer that gets stowed, but it's on a hydraulic ram and the ram puts it down underneath the boat when you're in trolling or fishing position. It's not something that you can run around with at high speeds or anything like that. So. Correct. So. Um, 
It's an eight inch hull tube and it does, you know, retract out of there. So they all connect to GPS for speed so that when they get to, you know, we set them at about 12 knots. When you reach 12 knots, they should automatically retract. Uh, however, you want to be in the ha habit of, you know, just manually, manually doing retract. it, you know, is, is, is good. That is a safety mechanism in there, but you know, up to those speeds, you know, you can deploy it, you know, trolling speed and then lift their, you know, lift it back up when, when you're going to run or change positions. Right. Uh, and it is, you need about, if you consider, you know, you're measuring out your boat from, you know, engine room floor or wherever you're going to look at the installation position to the ceiling, you want to have about 60 inches or more headspace to have the tube length um, and then the, uh, the height overhead. Right. Now, just as uh, someone's thinking about getting in the market for one of these, what kind of money are we talking about? I don't know options and models vary, but just um, a range there. So a good budget Terry number that we throw out there for customers if they're considering this is just, you know, $130,000 range. Right. Uh, you know, every boat is obviously a little bit different. And, you know, you have your yard work that what, that what may need to be, you might need mechanical reconfiguration for where you want to install the tube. Um, but if you go into that, you know, budgetary number of, you know, 130, 150,000, most of the time we'll come in under that, but just to wrap the head around of that right. consideration of what you're getting yourself into. That's a large investment. It really is. It is. But... Again, you know, when you look at the investment of the cost of the boat and just how much this increases your efficiency of the time you're catching fish, you've got this big investment of having this sport fish boat and everything right. you do into it. You know, it is a very expensive piece of equipment but it's going to create more opportunities for you to enjoy that machine for the purpose of which you've invested it's in it. It's gonna make your time more efficient. Absolutely. That's right. If you're really not prepared to make that much of an investment, you do have a little cheaper option here. And tell us about that. So Searchlight Sonar works a little bit differently than the way the Omni works in that it's one transducer that's mechanically operated. So it doesn't look all the way around as quickly as an Omni does, but it's a great tool that, you know, you can get into one of these for, you know, $25,000, $30,000. This here is the Coden KDS 6000 black box unit. So a six inch hull tube, much more compact unit, DC voltage. And it'll give you that experience of learning how to operate underwater sonar. Uh, so it's that one transducer that moves around. The Coden KDS 6000 is pretty fast and that you can set it in 180 degree sweep and it'll go back and forth and gives you that ability to really learn how to operate sonar and take advantage of, of that technology without the size and expense of one of the omnidirectional sonars. So small boats, you know, smaller budgets, that kind of thing. You know, you're not out of the game. We have tools for, for every situation and every budget. Yeah, well, that's great that, uh, you know, someone with a smaller boat and not quite that big a budget has an option to go this way. And uh, it's just, it's amazing the technology that has come out, you know, in the the sounding field and um it's exciting to see and i can't wait to have one of these on our rig absolutely so, thanks again todd we can't thank you enough you're welcome